Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 3 build, 16184. And for the first time um, since the Redstone 3 project has started, we've actually got some new features. And the first of those is the My People uh, app or My People feature. Now that was um, supposed to be part of Redstone 2, which was the creator's update. And it got pushed out, uh, I guess, because it wasn't ready. And uh, here we are, the feature is now here. So it's early days of it yet, but there are some um, there are some uh, things to see. So let me show you those. So you, first of all, you need the new people app. Once you've got the new people app, you'll see this little uh, icon down here, the people icon. You can then uh, tap on that and it shows people. So um, it shows a select, select suggested people and it shows apps that can connect to um, the My People app. So you've got a combination of people that you've got email with, Skype, and then the People app itself. And then what you can do, you can actually pin a person. So I've got, as an example, not that I would always uh, <laughs> email myself, but as I've got an example, I've got myself pinned there uh, to the um, to the People bar. Well, let me see if I can show you a better example. Let's find someone else to pin. Okay, so I've got someone um, pinned there, and you see now because I've got them pinned, let's unpin that actually first. You can see, you even get their icon there with the, the image on there, and then I can then contact them by Skype. So I can mail them, and uh, let's just, or I could uh, see the detail. And uh, it's interesting, it brings up history as well. Um, and these are um, communications that I've had, you know, previously not using this people app. So it's sort of gone back through the history of there, and I can close it off like that. So I can see um, communication, older communications, and things like that. So I think it's a really neat feature. I like that, and um, the people app is looking really good actually. So. That's that's good. So it's one place to keep all the communications together, and uh, I like being able to to do that. So all you need to do to get that is you've got to have this build, and you just make make sure you've got the latest Skype, Mail, and People apps, and then just um, I just went through the People app, and uh, it was already there. So so I like that. It's a really good system. So that's the main feature with this one. There's also a new Gmail experience that allows you to do. Focused inbox, um, uh, faster search, better uh, tracking, package tracking. But that's not currently available at the moment. It's going to be rolling out over time. Uh, so you'll get this new uh, screen and that will, uh, new connection screen, and then you'll be able to have focused e uh, inbox uh, with your Gmail account, like you can, can do already with your Microsoft account. Okay, other changes and fixes with this build. There's quite a few actually. The, they've. Um, Fixed issue where the nightlight would get in a stuck in a disabled state. That's where so the nightlight wouldn't work at all. They've updated the start to use improved XAML scrolling. Um, I'm not sure I can say I've seen any difference on that, but I'll take Microsoft's word for it. Um, they fixed an issue with recent flights where dragging an app from all start list would uh, result in the start grid crashing. They fixed an issue with the uh, start setting previews uh, with themes. They've Im improved the loading performance of the notification settings. I did notice, actually, I had a problem with the previous build where sometimes this notification setting wouldn't uh, fire up at all, but it has done this time. They've improved um, oh, this updated audio drivers uh, that support Dolby Digital Live or DTS Connect. Uh, uh, there was a, a problem with it in the previous build where it wouldn't work, and that's been fixed. Uh, they've um, fixed an issue with photos crashing, and they've fixed an, an issue playing Go Global Cloud Strike, and they've fixed the FTL developer tools. So, what are the known issues? Well, there's not um, there's not too many of them. It's probably getting slightly larger as they're introducing new features, but uh, um, you may see some updates were cancelled, error message, and there's a forum post for that. Uh, the Defender icon still doesn't open by double clicking. You've got to to right click and, and open I'm sure they'll fix that so just do that and 
There you go. I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. Surface 3 devices still fail if there's an SD card when you're trying to do the Windows, uh, trying to do the update, so make sure that's not in. There's some issues with Simplified Chinese. Update and security uh, may crash. You've got to reopen it again. Actually, one change that's the they have mentioned is that recover pc doesn't work in this build and that was actually added to the release notes uh, since the uh, update was available so uh, watch out for that one hey what you can't do the update and recovery there's a mobile build, build available with a lot less features but it's good to see that people um, bar coming um, and uh, yeah look to see more interesting features like that coming so thanks for watching this video we can go back on our youtube channel right back to the very first windows 10 previews and you can find more on the digitallifestyle.com